hear we have seen until now that how this gospel is preached unto many nations. See the pastor when he heard he just said that this gospel is now in preaching in India also. And how many nations are gathered here? Asia's nations preaching the same gospel of Jesus is the Christ, the same faith that we have now. The, the faith that early church had, the faith the disciples of original disciples, like disciples of Jesus Christ had. And that was not revealed by any other, any other personality, but God himself revealed this truth, the true gospel. And this is being preached to us today. Amen? Amen, Amen Philippine. Hallelujah. So, in order uh, to understand more deeply how Jesus came as a uh, how Jesus is the Christ, because a while ago we see in ch uh, previous chapter, lecture like twelve, we saw that Jesus was called as a Lord, he was called as a teacher, he was also called as a rabbi, also the prophet, son of David. These all things they are trying their best to present Jesus uh, with their best word. But the best word that come from heaven and what is actual, He is the Christ. Right? Here, the Messiah, Simon Peter said, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. It's not the revelation that He had by Himself. It was said by Jesus that it is revealed to you by the Father in heaven. And even to it today, to us now. And to know. And from now, we will know how powerful this Christ, the Jesus, is. How powerful He is as a King, true King. So, Christ is the Anointed One and He came here in this world to show us uh, how these three offices, He fulfilled this role as a King, as a Prophet, as a Priest. So, as now we read here in Lecture 13, the historical books, and these all historical books are uh, concerned to the lineage of the kings in the Old Testament, if you see in the Bible, and these kings and their deeds, their actions, what they are doing, and why these things are written in the Bible about the kings, to show us like these kings are the representer of their nations. And if the king is doing right, the nation prospers. If the king is faithful, the nation is prospering. But if the king is failing, the nation fell to the ground. This is the importance of the king. So here, in historical books, we see the records concerning most, uh, mostly kings. Before the kingdom was a split, Saul, David, and Solomon, these three kings were there. And uh, in, in the side of Saul, we see that he was he started with a good and he, he followed God before, but later he ended up evil. In the life of David, we see he started good and later he just he couldn't make it. And also Solomon. Solomon also started good. He couldn't make it to the fullest. Even though the wisdom he was given, he asked for whatever he has, God gave him. Because God is always there to, to, to the people he chose, the people who anointed, who belong to, who are the one uh, he has chosen for the people. He is always providing. In overview of this history of the kingdom, we see here, in the kingdom of Judah, 20 kings were uh, ruled since be, uh, before Christ, 19, uh, 931 to before Christ, 587, approximately 30, 344 years. And these two, uh, this kingdom is consisted of tribe of Judah and some men belong to the tribe of Benjamin. And a few of its kings included Hezekiah, Josiah, followed David's righteous path. It left behind Israel in regards of military strength, but it was politically stable, the kingdom of Judah. And it was later, later it was destroyed by Babylon. And then the other kingdom of Israel, 19 kings ruled over it for approximately 209 years, 
and consisted of remaining ten tribes of Israel. Its founding king was Jeroboam, who did wicked deeds in the eyes of the Lord by making golden calf, by worshipping golden calf other idols and calling it God, appointing non Levite priests. He is not actually following the ways of the Lord here. And the feast, celebrating the feast at the other dates and such more things there are. The kings of the kingdom of Israel were influenced by Jeroboam. None of them, none of them were righteous before God. And out of its nine dynasties, only two held throne for more than two generations. Other seven dynasties fell to assumption. Six kings held the throne during the uh, last 25 years. Out of four kings, a purse, the throne by regicide. And it was later it was conquered by a Syrian empire. So these all, uh, we have this uh, history in the Bible that we see about kings. These all are kings, but these were not, they could, uh, these, uh, these kings are actually like a shadow to us to see how a king should be, how this true king should be, and how, this, how important the true king have to be in our life. And here we see God speak to us through historical books. When a king followed David's righteous path, took the throne, all the kingdom prospered. And we have some names here, Esa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoshua, Hezekiah, Josiah, etc. They are the kings who followed G uh, David's righteous path. They destroyed gentle, uh, Gentile or altars, broke down uh, idols, and Asherah poles. Asherah poles are the poles like a. They, they are poles and they have some uh, face on it and they have some tummy. It's, it looks funny anyway. So. And they restored God's broken altars, sought God, and listened to God's word. Hallelujah. So these were the, these things, they actually uh, followed uh, David Rajesh's path. I also want my name to be written in this list, isn't it? There are those who follow David Rajesh's path. But if I want my name, that means to say I want to glorify my name. No. Let us glorify Jesus more. Amen? Yeah. So, in spite of this, even best king David was not perfect. Amen. Here we see, in spite of this, even uh, best king David was not perfect. Second Samuel, we see here that uh, David sent messenger to get her. She came to him and he slept with her. Now she is perfect from her monthly clean uncleanliness. Then she went back home. And later, uh, it says, and it, he wrote, put Uriah out in front where fighting, uh, where fighting was at Fierce. Then withdraw from him so he will be struck down and die. And later we see these are the things that David made mistakes. Again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel. He incited David against them, saying, Go and take, take a census of Israel of Judah. So these are the things that failed the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of God, the, the kingdom that God really wanted to lead. But the king couldn't make it. That is why a true king was needed. And here, in, uh, in this true king, what we see, uh, Psalms chapter 2, verse 6 says, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Do you have this in your books? Can you please read with me? I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Hallelujah. It's not a human king, but a holy king. Hallelujah. It says, he gives his king great victories. 
He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David and his descendant forever. If we see this verse here, I, I want to share with you something. If we see, there is a lineage for David and his descendant. If we see, Jesus. Jesus is also is a descendant of David's kingdom, right? How do you... And it, actually, for Jesus, it is a double claim of David's throne. Because Joseph, if we see, he is coming from the lineage of Solomon. And for Mary, she is coming from the lineage of Nathan. So that means uh, Jesus Christ, he has a double authority over the throne of David. Hallelujah. Amen. So here, later we see, for us to a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulder. And he will be a great, wonderful counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the greatness of his government. And peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne on the, uh, and over his kingdom, establish and upholding with justice and righteousness from that time and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Nothing else but God's own power. His zeal will accomplish this. Hallelujah. So this happened. This happened in the, in the, in the presence of Jesus Christ. In the womb of Jesus Christ, it happened. And when this happened, what this true king, what he did? First thing, he defeated Satan. He was the ruler of the air. He defeated Satan. In Genesis 3.15 we see, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Wow, what a great king we have. What he, where he did this? He did this on the cross. One amazing thing I want to tell you this. I uh, was listening and a, a lecture while I was doing my nursing, my medical. Nursing, sorry. So, I was also amazed. By, uh, told by a professor that actually when a baby is conceived he does not take anything but only the food and nutrition from the mother but the blood that comes is from the seed that comes from the father how holy is the father of Jesus Christ is? and how holy is Jesus Christ that, and the blood here Amen. The blood is so holy. So this only and holy king is here to defeat Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. Here. And then Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 says, Since the children have flesh and blood, what children it is talking about? Since the children have flesh and blood, what children is it? These are the children of God. These are the chosen, worthy, worthy ones. Have he, because uh, it says, he too shared in their humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of that. That is the devil. He also came into flesh and blood to break the power of sin for us to live. Hallelujah. Amen. There, Jesus is the true king. John 4, chapter 1, verse 49 says, Then Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Acts chapter 5, verse 31 says, God exalted him who his own uh, to his own right hand as a prince and savior that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. Hallelujah. This king is the leader now. He is leading to the repentance. What is the meaning of repentance? To change your mind. Come on. Change your heart, your mind to the Jesus Christ. He's the king. Look at him. Don't look at the problems. If we, if we have a problem of money, God has given you the money. If we have a problem of sickness or illness, God has given you a doctor. 
But God knows what, what we need more, most. It was a Christ. For we being connected with the God is most important thing for God. That's why He sent His Son. To us, He is Jesus Christ. Our Savior. Amen? Amen. And Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 says, From Jesus Christ, who is the, who is the faithful witness, the first one from the dead, the first one, well, it says the first one, that, that means to say there will be more. And who, you know who are these more? These are you and me. Who are the believer children of God? The first one is Jesus Christ from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and has freed us from the sins by his blood. And great. Thank you. Revelation chapter 17 says, They will wage war against the Lamb. The Lamb will triumph over them because He is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Can we read it together again? They will wage war against the Lamb. But the Lamb will triumph over them because He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And with Him will be His call chosen and faithful followers. We are, you are the faithful chosen followers of Christ. Amen. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. We see, apart from the historical books, it follows only one message. Jesus is the Christ. The true King is He. He is the one who has defeated Satan. Is there anybody or in the whole world who is saying, I love Satan? Maybe if you will find him. Yeah. But those who know Jesus Christ, they will always say, No, he's the enemy. Satan is the enemy. And every thought that uh, detached me from Jesus Christ is the enemy of Satan. Uh, is the thought of Satan. One of the uh, great things that I heard from somewhere, somebody said, just you ever, ever even think about something that you think is evil, kill it right there. Don't let it grow. Because you have the power of Jesus Christ. Don't let these thoughts that, oh, somebody said something about me, oh, this thing said. Of course, these are human mankind. You will not see any perfect human. Um, that is why we have Jesus Christ to see as our king. He's the leader. And those who follow the leader, they will never perish. Yes. Yes. He's the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he, he, if he is the king, he is not only good, he is also the righteous. He will not do any injustice to his people. Come on. Yes. He will not do any injustice to you, to me. And it's, it's going to be eternal and forever. Hallelujah. It says not only about this, uh, Colossians chapter 2, let us open this. One thing. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. If you have it in your Bible. Please, can anybody stand up and read for me? Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. Can you read louder? He disarmed the principalities and power. And made a public example of them, triumphing over them in him. Hallelujah. And having disarmed the powers and authorities of Satan, he made him public spectacle. spectacle for it's like he break the power and authority of Satan. He took it and he has put it on shame publicly. It's not only like this small thing, it's a big thing. Like many kingly beings, when they were in the, they, when they are victory, they are having victory, what they do? They took it, uh, they took the king of other, other party, they bring it up and they bring it to their nation that this king is defeated. To us this is Satan, this is Satan. And this is Jesus Christ who defeated Satan. Hallelujah. There is no comparison. It's about Jesus. How powerful is, how great it is. 
Every inch of Jesus is really King Levi. Really King Levi. Every act, everything he touched. We believe here, right? We know that God has touched, Jesus has touched, the Holy Spirit touched her, right? But every touch that Jesus did in his life, it was, it never, it was never uh, common. Every word that came out of his mouth was never common. This is, a, this is what human beings are. Whatever they speak, it happens. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, I have chosen you. Hallelujah. We are human beings. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give glory to God. Huh? Put our hands. Yeah.